Uh, always good to get the first win of the season, especially with it being a conference game, uh, going 1-0. and That's that's big for our team. It's kind of crazy this year that our third game of the season is a conference game. Uh, it doesn't give much room to kind of grow and find yourselves, but I thought we did that tonight. Um, you know, our, our kind of our mantra this year is just worrying about us and trying to just buy into the process and get better every day in practice, every game. And, and I think we're doing it. It's, was you know slowly but surely but I think today I, I think we're starting to put it together we're starting to show glimpses of the team that we can you know we were faced with a little adversity we have a couple of injuries uh, a little shorthanded but I felt like you know it was a great team when people really uh, stepped up obviously a lot of foul calls going to be fouls with these new rules so free throws are going to be important and you hit your free throws huge and that was the thing like uh, that was one of our keys to the game we're we're good when we get to the line and i just didn't think i think at half we had shot six free throws and i really challenged our team in the second half i said if we're going to win this game we have to be in that attack mode and then we ended up shooting you know 24 free throws in the second half and i think that was a big key to our success Defensively, I mean, they can score points. You did a nice job of shutting them down. You know, and it was. It was a great team defensive game. You know, we were through Kendall Brown out there. You know, we're asking her. She was a guard last year. We we're asking her to play the post. She's guarding their best player. You know, she's holding on for dear life, and she did a phenomenal job. But, you know, it was our guards giving help. It was just a uh, solid. You know, it wasn't perfect, but we did enough to win. A lot of it seemed like every time they made a run, you guys answered back. Yeah, we knew we had to get back and make stops because that generated our offense. We knew we had to be all over the place. We prepared very well all week for us. And they were going to press you too, and you, you broke the press pretty well. Yeah, just going to the open spots, and we knew we had to take advantage of them fouling us and hit our free throws, like you said. And you pressed them a good portion of the game. Yeah, that's something we're going to try to do a little bit more, is kind of, you know, with the 10-second rule in the backcourt this year with women's basketball, kind of press the issue a little bit. I, I thought they struggled playing fast. I thought that sped them up a little bit, and... You know, they took quick shots, which kind of played in our advantage. And we talk a lot that we may not get an initial steal, but it might force them to take a bad shot, and I thought that's what happened. seemed like Enzo really took it, took care of it in the second half and, you know, and you took know, charge. It, and that's what I said. That was, you know, that charge. I told her that good thing she took it because of shot two possessions before. I wanted to, to pull her hair out. But I said <laughs> she made up for that. But, you know, I talked to the kids in the, in the locker room. Like, Meg Novak goes one for 11, and we found a way to win. I don't think she'll go one for 11. She's really been shooting the ball well all year. But, you know, people stepped up. Everyone did their part, whether it was two minutes, you know, 24 minutes. Alana, you know, Alana did phenomenal. To play under that pressure, have one turnover, you know, she, she ran the show. And that's, you know, perfect for us. Could you feel yourself? I mean, it's tough to get in the flow of all those fouls, but, you know, you, you obviously had a good game. Yeah, uh, like I said, I like fast-paced game. I think we really took advantage of that, getting the ball and pushing it out. And just hitting the open spots, getting I like to get the ball to everybody, distribute and keep our spacing. I think we worked that very well. And it's going to be tough to press you because you have so many good ball handles. And that's the great thing, you know, all three of our guards, and that's something we've been working a lot in practice. That you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be Alana or Michelle Batty initiating our office. We want every kid to be able to know the plays, to feel comfortable, and and they have. They've really worked on their ball ball handling. That's something we, we do every day in practice. You know, we make sure our posts, if ever, they, they can do it a little bit. We don't really want that, but, you know, they can take one or two dribbles and, and be all right. So Tuesday North Central. Yeah, you know, we were just talking about that in the locker room. It's going to be a fun game. It's a crazy game. You know, we've got to, you know, strap yourself in for this one. It's going to be a, a high-scoring affair, but, you know, it's going to be a fun game for our kids. It's a, it's a look that we're not going to see again this year. Um, you know, it's going to be... Our guards are going to have to handle their press, and I think we're doing a great job of that, and we just got to finish the ball. So it'll be good. Congratulations. Good luck. Thank you.